Hello everyone, my name is Brendan McCauley and today I want to share with you the very heart of Christianity. And oh my gosh, it changed my life. I was born Catholic and raised up in the faith, but I never heard about the great mystery of our creation as male and female that St. Paul talks about in Ephesians 5, 31 through 32. I never heard this and I want to share it with you because St. John Paul II says, this passage sums up all of scripture. If you're thinking, okay, what's Christianity all about? St. John Paul II would say, read this passage and don't just read it on the surface, but dive deep into this passage. This is what St. Paul says in Ephesians chapter 5, 31 through 32. He says, a man will leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife and the two will become one flesh. This is a great mystery. Okay, pause. St. Paul is pointing back to the beginning, creation. And the culminating crown of creation is marriage, where a man will leave his father and mother, and God says, be fruitful and multiply. St. Paul says this right here is a great mystery. Did you hear that? Did you know that growing up, maybe in your Christian home? I did not. Why is it a great mystery, St. Paul? He says, it refers to, it points us to, it's meant to be a window into Christ's love for his church. Jesus leaves his father and his mother in the very fulfillment of his salvific act to save us, to redeem us, is this is my body given up for you. It's not merely an act that saved us from sin, but the early church father says, it's like a bridegroom that thirsts to be one with his bride. The church says the cross is the expression of the greatest passion and desire of a bridegroom that wants to be so intimate with his bride. That's what the church says. What's the last book in the Bible talk about what heaven is? Wedding feast, the wedding feast of the lamb. Okay, what is greater? Earthly marriage, earthly union between a man and a woman or the heavenly marriage, the heavenly union between Christ and his church? We sing about this heavenly union. If we know it or not, think about the greatest showman, the song Never Enough. The woman sings, all the shine of a thousand spotlights, all the stars we steal from the night sky will never be enough. She says, towers of gold are still too little. These hands could hold the world, but it will never be enough. Never be enough for me. The song Shallow by Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga. Bradley Cooper says, tell me something, girl. Are you happy in, a modern, in this modern world or do you need more? Is there something else you're looking for? We're singing about, if we know it or not, Christianity would say, you're singing about the wedding feast of the Lamb. You're singing about heaven. It's what we want most. Think about, <laughs> and this is what St. Paul is saying. He's saying, how can we know about heaven? How can we know about Christ's love for his church? He says, look at a wedding. One of the greatest things that we all look forward to every year is someone's wedding, where we can be on the dance floor, where we can be feasting, drinking good wine, and everyone's full of life and joy. He says, all of this is a great mystery. All of this is just an appetizer. It's just a foretaste of the heavenly marriage, the heavenly wedding that we are made for, Christ and his church. Jesus didn't come into the world and say, hey, what you're doing is wrong, you're a sinner, don't do that. He says this, he says, come to me all who thirst and drink. Come to me all who thirst and drink. Oh my gosh, I don't know about you, but I am thirsty. I am thirsty for love, for union, for intimacy, to be known, for the fullness of life. Christianity says, God wants to fill you. He wants to fill you. Lord, Lord, 
open our eyes to see the truth of who you are and who we are and what we are made for. Amen. If you've enjoyed this video, I invite you to subscribe, to share it with any of your family and friends. Comment below on your thoughts. I'd love to hear them. Anyways, I hope to see you again next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.